we're at the garden shop and we're on a trolley. Yuko's looking to fill it up. There she is. Could you check if there are some, not cherry, but uh, ume? I've got a task now. I've got to look at labels. So, for example, this is uh, weeping cherry. That's weeping cherry on plum. It's a Chinese tallow. It's a Maris floribunda. We don't want the Maris floribunda. Dwarf apple. There's no plum. Maybe it's not plum. It's ume. Ooh, that's a plum. Look at that. But is it the one she wants? She's filling up the trolley. Very friendly kookaburra. Hello. Never known a kookaburra to let me get that close. Well, today I've come to Sublime Point, and uh, I've never been here before, but uh, it's a magnificent view. Look at that. Probably. Can't appreciate the magnificence of it on video, but um, it is. It's magnificent. And uh, in fact, from here you can see the three sisters from the back. When I say the back, I mean the side opposite where you normally see them. We're a bit far away though, so they look small. I'll zoom in with a still, just a moment. Over there, you can see smoke. I believe that's a uh, hazard reduction burn happening. Which direction would that be? South, south of here. And uh, it's making the the sunlight very yellow as it comes through the smoke. It's a lot of smoke, although I can't smell it. I think it's mainly staying high up. The sun looks weird, actually. You guys just done a bad thing. What did you do? Tell me. Just <laughs> admit it. I pour this one. This blue duck is too strong. What is this? Don't worry. Anyway, my point. It goes on there. Yeah. She just she's broke it off. <laughs> Pull it, just broke it off. It's a, it's a holder for a, a paper roll. You can glue, put glue here, like that. Now okay. she, she's trying to fix it. Glue. Okay. Apologize. Yeah. Apologize. Too primitive. Apologize. Too primitive. Not my fault. What is yeah, that? It's your fault. Don't touch my bread. It's all right here. Gonna, this area is really that's crowded. my breakfast for tomorrow. Okay. It's a very exciting day tomorrow. Yeah, Give me coffee. Well, as I said, tomorrow is a very exciting day. In the morning, there's an eclipse of the sun, which will be visible over most of Australia. It's actually an annular eclipse, which is uh, it's when the moon doesn't quite cover the sun because the moon's a bit too far away. And so it looks smaller, and it doesn't cover the sun. So you just get a ring of sun around the moon. From here, though, it will only be a partial eclipse. The actual annual annular eclipse will only be visible from... Uh, I'm just looking at the map now. Um, Western Australia, Northern Territory, and Northern Queensland. Have a look. There it is. 
or in this area, you will see just a ring of sunlight. But down here, and all this part of Australia, we'll just see the partial eclipse. Actually, partial eclipses, they're not that good, really. I've, I've seen plenty of them. And if, you, if you're not actually looking at the sun, of course, with your filters, um, you wouldn't even notice it, you know, if you're just outside and there's an eclipse on. The sunlight doesn't look much different. So that's not really the uh, exciting thing tomorrow. Um, I'll be going to Linden Observatory and I will have a look at the eclipse there, but I'm not actually going there for that. I'm going there because we're going to dismantle the T-Rex, the big telescope. Uh, we're going to pull it apart and uh, send it to Melbourne. It's going to have some uh, modifications done in Melbourne or somewhere near Melbourne. Um, so we have to take it apart. So that'll be very exciting. I've never taken apart a big telescope before. That'll be the most exciting thing. But you know, one of the guys is going to bring his telescope, uh, his little telescope with solar filter and we're going to uh, take a look at the eclipse. Now I'll put a link uh, below or a couple of links to uh, some information about the eclipse. But of course if you're watching this on uh, Friday, uh, you might have missed it already. 